It is Saturday, July 7th, and this is your 28storms.com tropical update. The good news is that all of the action remains in the eastern Pacific, and all of the storms that are forming are continuing to move away from Mexico. The first one is Hurricane Daniel, and we have newly classified Tropical Depression 5E located a little bit closer to land. Daniel is now an upper end Category 1 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of 90 miles per hour, but the storm has more than likely maxed out in intensity as it will soon be moving into much cooler water temperatures, and that is why we are not seeing much of a threat to Hawaii despite the forecast track taking it relatively close to the islands in roughly five to seven days. Daniel has become steadily more impressive over the past 24 hours with a well-defined eye beginning to appear on the visible satellite, although you can still make out the more stable air immediately to the west of the hurricane as denoted by some of the stratocumulus clouds that we are witnessing. And there may also be a bit of a dry punch trying to move into the inner core of the hurricane, although it's not really having much of an impact at this time as convection is still bursting relatively close to the center. And as long as that is the case, it will be somewhat difficult for that dry air to fully entrain into the storm. On a more regional perspective, we can still see Hurricane Daniel, as it is nicely defined on satellite, but it is still far away from Hawaii. And as we turn on the water vapor, you can see even more reason why we do not think that this storm is much of a landfall concern, as there is a large swath of dry air, not to mention the cooler sea surface temperatures that are just to the storm's west. We're looking at temperatures in degrees Celsius, and they drop off below the 26 degrees Celsius threshold, not too far to the west and north of where the storm is currently located. Meanwhile, Tropical Depression 5E is on the verge of becoming Tropical Storm Amelia since it has maximum sustained winds of 35 miles per hour and is forecast to continue moving west-northwest to northwest as it slowly gains strength and intensifies into a hurricane. But much like Daniel, it should remain on a general west-to-west-northwest course and remain away from Mexico. Tropical Depression 5E will likely become Tropical Storm Amelia either later tonight or early tomorrow morning based on the latest signature on visible satellite. All we need is a couple more bursts of convection near the center and the storm will likely go on to become a tropical storm quickly thereafter. On the water vapor imagery we see little to no sign of significant dry air or vertical wind shear so the forecast of this storm becoming a hurricane appears to be on target. Meanwhile, in the Atlantic Basin, we have a much different picture with little in the way of any activity. We are still dealing with this tropical wave causing isolated shower and thunderstorm development across Central America and the Yucatan Channel. But this wave is not very well organized and it's relatively weak and it is also encountering a lot of vertical wind shear. So no development is anticipated in the Atlantic Basin over the next 5 to 10 days. Hurricane Daniel and soon-to-be Tropical Storm Amelia may not be the only tropical cyclone formations in the near future in the eastern Pacific, as a couple dynamical models are developing a potential third system within just the next three to four days. Meanwhile, the rest of the tropics are looking quiet. Switching over to the GFS model, we see a similar setup being outlined with both of our initial tropical cyclones moving westward, while Daniel begins to weaken as it moves closer to Hawaii. And this model is not so bullish on the third development in the eastern Pacific, but the potential definitely does exist, while the Gulf, Caribbean, and West Atlantic are showing no signs of development in the extended range. So that is the latest in the tropics, but as a little bonus material, we have a discussion that was posted earlier this morning, and it's a little bit of discussion regarding the sea surface temperatures following Tropical Storm Debbie in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. And of course, always keep it tuned to 28storms.com and the Hurricane Tracker app throughout hurricane season.